I think the qualities that Rachel brings to what she does are drive and determination. Um, she has a clear idea of what she wants to achieve, and then she takes people who perhaps don't see it from her point of view along with her. Target Zero was our commitment back in 2006 to eliminate all non-hazardous waste from landfill by the end of 2010. At the time, it was saw, seen as something quite radical. It would mean a different mindset and approach to the way we dealt with waste from site. We were spending it as a business at that time over three and a half million pound on waste. Together with increasing landfill taxes, there was increasing legislation. And we also saw it as an opportunity within the industry for us to collaborate with our peers, with our customers, with our suppliers on an issue that is very much common across the built environment. We really explored at the early stages of the project whether we're able to segregate the waste streams on site or whether we have to use one of our waste suppliers to take away the mixed waste who then segregate at their facilities. If you take a typical refurb, space is very tight. Uh, we can't, you know, to try and have skips for wood, skips for metal, skips for plasterboard, skips for paper, skips for, for, for general canteen waste, you know, you're talking a large area. It's just impractical. At that time, we were using 134 different waste companies within the group. This seemed to me to be ludicrous. We did a lot of work in auditing waste companies to find the companies that share the same value set as us, that also have uh, waste facilities where our waste can go to from sites. We now have 30 waste companies who are part of our strategic supply chain. If we were going to improve, we needed to better understand where we were. So one of the areas was reporting. The site teams didn't want to report uh, any further additional information. They were already reporting from the commercial information, health and safety information, and they saw this as another thing to report. To solve that, we took the reporting away from the site teams and we worked with the waste companies to actually undertake the reporting for us. As our relationships matured with weights, really moving along from just providing skips and, and that being a belt and braces service, we're now far more at the heart of the operation, I'd like to think. We now pick up the skips, we segregate the waste, we're involved at the beginning, through the middle, through to the end of the project, and that includes the reporting. You can't beat good, honest conversations with our site teams, really good briefings with our customers and suppliers on how well we've done, where the challenges that we faced uh, have been, and how we're really going to make progress together. It wasn't an easy sell when Rachel came to us because it was a big challenge, zero waste to landfill. But actually, uh, her proposition to us was that if you do it in bite-sized chunks, you've got an opportunity to do it. And if you don't do it, then you'll, you'll not start on the journey. And look for the easy wins, because I think all of these things, if you've got easy wins, you can then pick them off, build momentum, and then create confidence in what you're trying to achieve. We've moved from 53% of our waste being diverted from landfill to 95% at year end of 2010. So we've made great strides. Sustainability is for the future, it's for everyone. And, and it's working well. And Rachel is a great supporter of that and she drives through ideas. She inspires people, she inspires me. I've always had an interest in the environmental agenda and I'm also really passionate about helping Wakes make a difference in the environment and the communities in which we work. This is about people, this is about a team effort within our business. Every individual has really embraced Target Zero and helped make that step change in the way that we deal with waste on our sites.